and welcome into Fox Weather Live. I'm Jane Menard. Thanks for joining me on your Sunday. It has just been uh, quite the weekend, right? Finally drying out for some of us, uh, especially on the East Coast after Debbie just brought days of rain all through this past week and into Friday. But now a breaking situation in Oklahoma. We have record rain this morning that has been leading to very dangerous flooding. The culprit is this boundary that's set up in the middle tier of the country. Cooler temps to the north, big dome of heat off to the south, and unfortunately Oklahoma City finds itself right in the middle. We can finally see the capital off in the distance this go around as that rain comes in waves and has lightened up ever so slightly, but the ground is saturated and look at the winds too. Gusty and those clouds are moving quite quickly. We've had incredible amounts of rain. Parts of Norman, Oklahoma, near the University of Oklahoma has been completely swamped out. More than six inches of rain falling today alone as of eight o'clock this morning, and that number continues to climb. In fact, in some spots, we're up over nine inches of rain. Here's how it all played out. So in the early morning hours, these thunderstorms developed, pushed their way into Oklahoma City, and continued like a train track along that salt boundary for these showers and storms to continue to pull their way through. Intense rain rates, especially on very dry ground, is what's ultimately led to this really dangerous flooding situation. Most of our flood warnings look to have been able to expire, but Oklahoma County and Oklahoma, you're still under that warning until 1215 local time. So OKC, you know, you're still dealing with the threat for heavy rain, considerable flooding too. We've seen some water level rise with some of our area creeks and streams too, getting up to about minor flood stage in some spots. So that babbling creek that you, you would see on a normal dry day, now becoming perhaps a, a bit of a, a raging river in some spots. You could see all the flooded out water, the streets here in and around Norman, Oklahoma. This is over near the university. The water ponding and pooling in the sides of the streets and then continuing to fan their way out. An important reminder, you know, if you come across roads like this, it is best that you don't drive through them. You don't know the condition of the road underneath of it. Even if it is just a couple inches of water, it's all it takes to put yourself in a dangerous spot. But yes, flooding rain has been a big, you know, slow down across Oklahoma this morning. Major interstates, I-40, I-35 has been dealing with this flooding rain. This is exactly what I was talking about before. Look at this person's front yard, probably gorgeous. You know, you get that babbling creek, you have a bridge that goes over top of it, and now it's a rush of murky brown water debris that's been butted up underneath that bridge as well. Water that's overtaken so many roads. Take it slow, you know, as you go throughout the rest of the day today. Unfortunately, we're likely going to see those showers and storms continue to build in with some daytime heating this afternoon that could once again heighten that issue in some spots where we've already picked up over nine inches of rain. So right now, OKC, we're closing in on, you know, top 10 day for rainiest days in Oklahoma since the start of records. But there it is. Take it slow. We'll continue to follow this story closely. And if you are in Oklahoma, don't forget you have your Fox Weather app on hand. You can track radar and also get a good look at those alerts in and around your area as you go throughout the rest of your Sunday.